uh, good morning class. My name is Rakogzi. Today I'll be showing us how to make a very fast kitchen cabinet or bookcase cabinet using SketchUp. So, using this image right here, which I downloaded randomly from Google, it's a very simple cabinet, one door cabinet with an open shelf system. Um, throughout this class, we'll be creating a series of cabinetry from kitchens to bookcase to dressers to entertainment centers, etc. And the goal of this class is to be able to make your mill work using the simplest of softwares and also transfer it in a layout mode such that it can be cut out set for production. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So clearly on this picture there are no dimensions, but we'll be using the, what is standard. First first is I will actually create 450 by 900. So 450 by 900, this is the footprint of which cabinet base is. The height is about 900. So I'm going to assume that my viewers are, have a basic knowledge of SketchUp. If not, I can also create an introduction to SketchUp video later on in another separate video, of course. So here, what I just simply did is create a volume of 450 depth, 900 width, 900 height, which is standard for, for base cabinets that are not for kitchen. So what I'll do now is, since I already have the skeleton of what I want, I copy face out, push pull, typically panel boards come in 18 millimeter, sometimes 15, sometimes 17. So it depends on your country or location. I'll be using 18, 18 millimeter for this class. I'll create a group, I'll create a component. In, in a later video, I'll be teaching us the use of groups and components and how that can speed up your modeling process. All right, so we move this here to this very end. If you notice, the face is exactly at the end of the box that I made, copy over here. I will be mirroring this other panel such that the face it faced directly opposite to the previous one. So I hold my scale button, move to any direction I like, and I press minus one, which will is a, is a form of doing mirror since SketchUp does not have a dedicated mirror button. So we're getting close. Next, I copy the same panel. I press Q for rotate. And I rotate this 90 degrees to the back. And I put it exactly here. And I hold my scale tool. Now my scale tool, the particular node I want to select is inside. Although it's fairly clear here, but if you have a more complex geometry, you can hold press Q for X-ray mode. And pull like so to the end here. Excuse me. Like so, yeah, and I press K to turn off the X ray mode. So, with this, I can triple click to select the initial schematic box which I created and delete that because I already have my formwork, so I no longer need that. I'll copy this, I'll create a copy of this by rotating. I press Q and added control button to it 90 degrees, move it up this way and it fits just right I don't have to scale whatsoever so next we need to create a base and also with the base comes the tool kick so what I will do is I'll copy this and put it at the bottom here copy this and increase the height by 100 which is standard for tool kicks click the bottom delete that I'll scale this in, this base, I'll scale it in, I'll hold the node from the center with my control key active. So what I do to the right affects on the left, my snap 
towards the inner panel. I press my scale again. I snap it towards the inner panel here. Excuse me, that didn't come out right. Yes. So we've had the exterior carcasses all set up. So you can see we still have a few steps to take if you're looking at the finished product image we have here. So I'll go back to SketchUp. We need to create a divider in the middle. I press Q and add control key for copy. I put my mouse just where it tells me midpoint of component. And I come to the base and look for my midpoint. SketchUp automatically snaps to the midpoint for me. So checking, I can see that my panel is flush with my back panel. Just the top is overboard. So I scale down and snap it. I make a copy of this middle divider by pressing Q for rotate and adding control to it. I'll type 90 degrees because I want it to be perpendicular. Hover my mouse, pick my midpoint, come over here, found my midpoint. No, I don't think that's, that's not my midpoint. Let's look for it. Midpoint, exactly. I scale it in one more time. Like so. Right. So, we we're having close to what the cadmium looks like so we copy this shelf and place it here so we can leave our toe kick exposed like this so we'll have to copy what i'll do is i'll copy the base by rotating and adding control to it and i'll scale this in like this Although there are different ways of styles of which you can apply to the toolkit, but what I usually do, I don't usually let it flush like this. I would move it back by exactly 18 mm, exactly the thickness of the panel, move it backwards like so, click the first one and delete. It just gives it gives the work a little bit more detail, if you know what I mean. So next and finally we need a door. Control. I'll add that's this is my rotate function. I'll add my control key to it 90 degrees. Copy is all in now. Let's scale to fit. Right, let's, let's do scale properly. Yeah, and yes, I think we have very, very very close looking cabinet to this. I will delete my scale figure line so that we can just only see the cabinet for now. Now let's go up instead of delete, I'll just hide high instead. So let's go to our material palette. Uh, SketchUp doesn't have quite a lot of textures, but in my next class, I'll make sure, I'll make sure I have texture palettes that we can play with. So for now, we'll just apply this all around. You can also give your work a little bit of character by control, let's say, make unique. You can choose to use a solid color gray board, which is very common in, you know, in the market. We know that what we're showing our clients is something we can actually produce. So for the door, I'll make it unique because they are all the same components and I'll use this texture that looks this wood veneer texture so here we have two cabinets single door one of one single door and an open shelf system and with this you have a finished product we can take this to our layout program and 2d program do the appropriate dimension and uh, just go straight to the workshop and you have a finished product like this. So um, if you have any questions, just leave in the comments below. I will be making more of, of this type of content, how to make your meal work product in SketchUp and make it possible that you can actually produce this in a workshop. 
Thank you very much, Cogsy here. Peace. The fuck? Yeah, what? Okay. I'm gonna record that.